Good morning, everybody. I told you I'd be back. That shit. Mm. I'm putting that off. It's a good one. So yeah, that's cool. It was a weird night last night. It was a weird day yesterday. Doing all those vlogs all day. Take taking you through my day. And uh, and then the fucking cats, man. Like I don't know. Like I get like yeah. Sometimes the insomnia or the sleeplessness or whatever catches up with you. And, uh, these cats, man, they're fucking, they're just way too cute. And they, like, there comes a time, like, they, you know, I'll, I'll be sitting here, and if my bedroom door is open, they like to run in my bedroom, right? And, uh, my bedroom's that old, uh, vocal isolation chamber, uh, as I've said before. So it's kind of, kind of neat. And, uh, but the, the cat's, like, running in and out, and, and, uh, but they'll get to a point, like, they'll want me to come to bed with them, right? Um, so they'll sit in the bed and they'll look at me. Um, it doesn't, like, it could be, I don't know, it could be, like, yesterday it started really early. Hence the, uh, you know, like, I fucking recorded, so I recorded all this music yesterday. And, uh, I'd be editing it, and I think I told you this in the thing last night, and I be you know figuring it out or what i doing doing what i gotta do and uh shadow would come crawl on my chest and weasley would like crawl on my legs and i'd just be like oh and I, and I was tired to begin with and you just fall asleep and i wake i'd wake up with my fucking phone you know everything i did erased and on the floor or whatever like i don't know i think i said like the big long fucking 26 word sentence or Six, I don't know, whatever. It was difficult to focus. Let me just say that. There he is now. This little guy. This is Weasley. Say hi to the people, Weasley. Hi, people. Hello, hello. He's way too cute for his own good. He woke me up this morning by coming and sitting on my sitting on my chest and doing this to my face. It was really cute. But, uh, yeah, that's a lot of yak, yakking and repeating myself. But I am in radio, so if uh, I'm not repetitive, I'm nothing. But uh, speaking of radio, uh, Warehouse of Strangers Radio Radio is on today at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you can uh, find the time, you can stream it live on trentradio.ca. And if you're in town, you can listen to it on Trent Radio, CFFF FM 92.7, Corner of Park Hill and George, beautiful Peterborough, Ontario. Today, I'm having my roommate Kelsey in for like the last half of the show. Talk about bassoon making. And uh, not for a half hour straight. We're going to do other stuff, listen to music too. But. Um, yeah, she makes she makes bassoons. It's funny because I played bassoon in my high school orchestra, uh, and uh, then I moved and I didn't have one for years. I, I it's the one instrument I re really regret not being able to carry on with, you know, because I really love playing and uh, just they're so expensive. And then I moved to town and I found out that the best bassoon maker in the world lives in the Kawarthas, uh, Bell Bassoons. And, uh, yeah, custom, custom built for the professional bassoons. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this angle right here. But, um, so I'm interested to know what she does, because, uh, I miss playing that instrument a lot. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be neat for, for me anyway. We're still going to play lots of cool music. Um... 
a couple of people died today, not not today, today, but uh, anniversaries of their death. Uh, Sam Lightning Hopkins died uh, in 1982 today. Uh, he's one of my, my all-time favorites, Lightning Hopkins. Amazing. Most of his recordings, he would go into the studio. He wouldn't write songs. He'd just go in and sit down and just start playing and saying, man, the guy has like a discography that could fill my room. You know what I mean? I admire, I admire that sense of improvisation. And, uh, and the great Professor Longhair died um, on this day in uh, 1980, which is a bummer because he was fantastic uh, New Orleans piano player you know like the Mardi Gras the fucking the king of Mardi Gras man as far as I know uh, maybe Hillary Hillary Thompson can correct me on that but uh, she probably knows all about him she's down there working working on Mardi Gras floats and stuff right now so Being one of one of the main supporters of Dirty Pet Wall songs on YouTube, uh, yeah. So yeah, maybe you can school us on Professor Longhair Hillary in the comments or something if you want. I don't know, or don't. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Um, I'm kind of hyper. I woke up really hyper. That's the thing. When you when you fall asleep with cats on you, you're really sleepy. But when you wake up with cats on you, it just makes your day super happy to start with, you know. So that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I might I might focus uh, the music a little differently than all the than all the punk rock I normally play. I'll well, I'll definitely be playing some of that. Some Merkwood recordings. Some Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy's got some new stuff. It's fucking awesome. It's the best stuff I've ever heard him do. And uh, we'll be playing some of that. And I can't remember if I had anything else lined up. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably be playing a little bit of tribute to Lightning Hopkins, a little tribute to Professor Longhair. Uh, and Steve Marriott was born today in 1943. I don't know if you know Steve Marriott. He was the singer for, uh, the, the Small Faces and for Humble Pie. And they, these were bands that were around before punk rock happened. And Steve Marriott, he was like, he was like up there with Bon Scott for like fucking rock and roll attitude dudes you know what i mean like he was steve marriott when i play live with jill that's who that's my i try to channel the spirit of steve marriott into what i do you know he uh he was a fucking he laid it on the floor man you know what i mean and uh another funny thing i did yesterday was uh there's a young from what I gather, probably young, like as in teenage punk rock band uh, in town, I guess, starting up called the, I think they're called the Crocoducks or something like that. And uh, they need a singer. So I applied for the job being a singer for a punk rock band. Uh, I don't know what, I think their probably version of punk rock is different than my version of punk rock. You know, I'm going to go in thinking about X and Darby Crash. Uh, the vile tones and teenage head and they're probably going to be thinking about uh, no FX and shit like that but maybe I won't go in at all maybe they'll just be like who's this fucking old guy whatever but uh, I got a couple of votes from the from the punk rock community out there uh, voices voices that matter in the punk rock community I got votes so I don't know. Maybe that could be fun. Dirty Pat Walsh singing for a fucking teenage punk rock band. It it could happen. That would be fucking... I'd love that. I'd fucking love that. As long as it... As long as I didn't have to sing no FX songs. I fucking hate no FX. But, uh... Anyhow. That's my story. 
I'm fucking hyper as shit this morning, man. I think it's because I put off. I've been up for an hour and I put off having a fucking dip for an hour. And, uh, and, uh, it's making me chatty. You know what I mean? That's what it does. It makes me chatty. So, anyhow, I hope you're all well. I hope you're good. Hope you can all tune into Warehouse of Strangers Radio Radio later. I might try to get some music up before I leave, but I might not have time. And maybe if I did, maybe one or two people would watch it. Anyway, so I'm not going to sweat it too hard, but, uh, yeah, I hope you can listen to the radio today. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited about the radio today. So yeah, be well, stay free. Thanks for putting up with all my rambling over the last 24 hours. And I'll see you later. Uh.